In this video, I show you how to install Forge on Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. Forge is a really great tool for allowing you to go and run mods on Minecraft. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this and make sure to watch this video right until the end as well. First up is, is to go and open up a web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome and then all you want to do is come to a search engine such as Google. Then all we're going to do is go and search for Forge, but do keep watching as I'm showing the full install process as well. So go and search for Forge and make sure you come to the official website which is files.minecraftforge.net. So click here and here we are. Then all you want to do is come onto the left hand side and as you can see here are all the different versions of Forge we can get for Minecraft. So it goes from all the way from 1.18 to 1.1 and of course there's probably going to be new versions of Minecraft as you go and watch this video as well. Um, so you probably want to go and get the latest version or if there's a certain mod you want for Minecraft you need to make sure you go and get the exact same version of the mod as for Forge. So for example if you want to get um, a Minecraft mod just for 1.12 then you need to go and get 1.12 version of Forge. However, in my case, I want to get the latest version, so I'm going to go and get the 1.18.2 version. So all you want to do is go and click on the version, I'm already on 1.18.2, and then you just need to go and click on Installer. Then what's going to happen is going to go and take us to an ad wall, where essentially we have to watch an ad for a few seconds. Do be very careful what you click, as every ad is going to be different. Then all you want to do is come to the top right to where the counter was and you can go and click on skip and it's going to go and start the download and I'll come off this page for now and here it is, it's already downloaded, it doesn't take very long at all. Then all you need to do is find where your forge downloaded to, so in my case it's the bottom of my browser, however you may need to go and open up your file explorer and go to the download tab as that's where commonly um, your downloads will be saved. So then I'm just going to go and drag this onto my desktop just like so and just go and put it at the top. So now we can go and minimize off of our browser for now. Then what you want to do is go and double click on it just like so, and then either a few things are gonna happen. Either your mod system installer is gonna go and open up like this, or a folder is gonna open with files in it, another program may open or nothing happens. Now this is most likely because either you don't have Java installed or you're not running Forge with Java. So firstly, I'm gonna show you how you can go and get Java, and then I'll show you how to make sure you're running the installer with Java as well. So all you want to do is come back to web browser, I'll just make this full screen, and you want to go and open up a new tab, and you want to make sure you come to java.com, just like so. Then you want to go click on Java download, and here we can go and start the download just here, and you want to go and download this and then just go and install it, it's a really simple process. Then once you've gone and installed it, you want to come back to your desktop and go and find your Forge file, and you want to go and click on it once, then right click on it, and then we can go and make sure we're opening Forge with Java. So then you want to go and click open with just here, and then here we go. Then if I go and click on more apps, you may need to go and click there to go and see Java. And then you want to go and click on it. And then you want to make sure you go and click always use this app to open .jar files and go and click OK. Then the mod system installer is going to properly open up just like this. And then you want to go and make sure install client is selected. And then you can go and hit OK. Then it's going to go and download some libraries just like this. It's now building the processes and you can sit back and relax while it does this. And then once it's done, you're going to go and get this complete pop up here saying successfully installed client profile forge. And then you can go and click OK. So there we go. Forge is now successfully installed, but we need to go and make sure we go and open up Minecraft with Forge. So let's go and get to the Minecraft launcher and I'll show you the next step. So here we are, the launch has now loaded, and all you want to do is come to the left of the play button, and you go and select on the current version just here, and you want to make sure Forge is selected here, as you can see it says 1.18.2, or you can come to this top bar up here, and you can also go and find Forge, and go and click on play as well, and you have to go and agree to this, and then you can go and click play, and it's going to go and launch up Minecraft. Here we are, Minecraft is now loaded and you're going to know Forge has successfully been installed because there is a mods button on your main menu and then you can go and click on mods just like so and you can go and click open mods folder and then you can go and drag your mods in here. To go and see a full guide on how to get mods in Minecraft, I've got a full video on that on the channel. But I hope you did find this video useful, if you did please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. I look forward to catch you in the next one, peace.